right. Um, good evening, everyone. At this time, I'd like to call to order the um, October 25th meeting of NUMAC. And at this time, if we could get a roll call for members present. Rick Rogers. Uh, present. Jeff Musa. Present. Kit Johnson. Here. Merle Kunkel. Present. Ken Summers. Present. Alan Halstead. Mary Starrett. Okay, with a quorum, we have, um, we'll move on to approval of minutes. Any um, discrepancies about the minutes or anything anybody like to address or just a uh, motion to approve from the last meeting? So moved. Second. Second. All approved, aye. 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 Okay, that passes. So let's go on to communications from the floor. Um, this would be a time if anyone wanted to make comments about um, items not on the agenda, uh, limited to five minutes. And um, then from that, we'll move on to staff. But first, is there um, anyone that's um, wanted to make comments not um, related to uh, the matter before us? And do we need a, a sheet, a sign-in sheet? Will there be anyone else? Okay, I'll give you a few minutes to go ahead and fill that out. And we'll go ahead and uh, move over to um, Doug for a uh, staff report. Um, so this is the item under the report on final disposition of agenda items. Um, so the County Board of Commissioners did take up the uh, new MAC bylaws and as well as the amendments to the intergovernmental agreement that you had spent a lot of time looking at and discussing. And so they approved that document. So Mr. Friday is on on Zoom on the 22nd. Um, I'll be coordinating with Ken and we get the final version and get the, the dates and so forth in there. And once we have all of that, then I will make sure that we email you a copy of those documents so you have them as your background reference. Ken, anything you would like to add? Nope. Yeah, you covered it. I, uh, it was three to zip. The, the board approved them, like you said, September 22nd. So thank you all for helping update some documents that were decades old. <laughs> all right. All right. If you'd like to bring that on up and if you would just come up to the podium there, um, press the Press the middle button on the mic to talk and we'll give you five minutes to speak. Thank you. Hello, I'm Michael Rossman, a relatively new citizen here of Newburgh. Figured this was the best entertainment on a rainy Tuesday night in Newburgh. Um, so not sure that this is quite the correct forum, but wanted to bring up the subject of traffic light cameras being new to Newburgh. Um, I was um, introduced to the Sherwood um, it's very effective um, camera system. And after two tickets, you know, I think I figured it out. <laughs> not real smart on the first time around, I guess. Well, and it's not, and it's, as you all know, it's how you turn right, even on a stop camera. I mean, it's the whole thing, you know, did you brush your teeth? If not, you get a ticket, right? Um, and watching on the flip side, um, people not just speed through the intersections on 99W, but blow through red lights or redder than any of my tomatoes ever got this summer. Um, it's just dangerous beyond compare my wife's grade school teacher, goes through the intersection at Boucher and 99W at 7.15 a.m. every morning. And she says, Michael, I, I let it turn green, count to three look both ways you know and then step that and number of times she's almost been t-boned um 
so we have, I'm sure you've all experienced this. I'm not saying anything that I imagine is a surprise to any of you, but if Sherwood can fund activities there and slow people like me down, why not here? So that is the sum. Unless anyone has any questions for me, that's the sum of my. So a comment if I could share. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for being here. Welcome, right? Welcome to Newburgh. Um, that actually is a subject for discussion, that it is under discussion again. We had them some time ago, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had them a while back. We had them up until they started working yeah. on the bypass. Bypass, yeah. So it is being discussed again. I know the chief and the city manager have been have been speaking about it. So um, so anyway, that this, this helps with additional uh, additional testimony to that effect. So thank you. Thank you. I actually spoke a couple months ago with the city manager and he told me, yes, this was his own personal number one agenda item after he got through the budgeting and everything else was involved, but figured given this opportunity to put in a plug for it before somebody more gets hurt, please help us out. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah, and I just like to add, um, yeah, it is a topic and an interesting something, you know, I'd like to learn more about because, and I'd like to see some, you know, raw data on, because I could see the other side too, where um, I, I think the ones in Sherwood, for example, can create traffic problems um, where people are afraid of the light and, and break too suddenly are, you know, the asset to try to make it before it. So I, I think there's a, there's a couple sides, but it's it's definitely worth addressing. And um, like you say, duly noted, and you know Mayor Rogers on it, and and Doug Ruck. So you know it's something on the radar that that that's definitely being looked at. Thank you. If I could, just one other plug. Um, all right, uh, since you're new to town, um, actually we have a couple of vacancies on various city committees, including. Interesting enough, Traffic Safety Commission. Uh, did you? <laughs> there you go. Thank you, sir. Perfect. Perfect. That's it. Thank you. Good to hear. Mr. Chair, uh, probably we should note that Commissioner Sterrett has joined us virtually. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, welcome. And make sure we note on the roll call there. And uh, then moving on. Uh, da, da, da. Why do I get that? We're going to reopen the public hearing for CPMA 21-0002, Newburgh Urban Reserve Area Expansion. And at this time, turn it over to Doug Rux for comments. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chair. So Doug Rux, Community Development Director. Um, we received a communication end of the day yesterday, which I sent out to NUMAC members this morning. Uh, the applicant has requested a continuance of uh, this particular hearing. So we started on August 23rd and they requested a continuance. They requested a second continuance. In that communication, they set out, uh, they were looking to go to the November 22nd, 2022 meeting. So first question would be, are all of you going to be around on November 22nd? It's Thanksgiving week. Thanksgiving's on that Thursday and Friday of that week. Yep, I'll be in town. Okay. Good. Well, sounds like the 22nd would work. So what we would need then is a motion to continue the hearing to November 22nd at 7 p.m. here at the Public Safety Building, and then we would need a second, and you would need a vote. Sounds good. So, um, yeah, this this is um, like a case that's um, complicated, got a lot of angles to it and everything, so I see no problem in issuing a continuance as long as we get it done sooner or later, but is there a motion for uh, continuance? So moved. Continue to November 22nd at 7 p.m. Second. Public safety. Okay, yeah, we have a motion and a second for continuance. Can I get a roll call vote, please? Rick Rogers? Yes. Mary Starrett? Was that a yes? Yep. Thumbs up? Yes, that's yes. <laughs> okay. 
Jeff Musa? Yes. Alan Halstead? Oh, he's not here. Kit Johnson? Yes. Meryl Kunkel? Yes. Ken Summers? Yes. The motion passes. So the hearing is continued until November 22nd, 7 p.m. here at the Newburgh Public Safety Meeting. All right, then moving on, we'll take a look at, oh, we have no further agenda items. So items from staff, uh, just basically laying uh, out the next meeting. Yeah, next uh, next item up is, the, are there any items from the commissioners? <laughs> There's no items from staff. 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a Slurpee. Okay. <laughs> Got to take care of the business, even if it's just continuing the business. <laughs> so, okay. So if there's nothing further at this time, let's go ahead and adjourn the October 25th meeting of the NUMAC Commission. And we'll see you on in November. <laughs>